like I said, I'm fourth generation and, you know, my great grandparents, my grandparents, my parents and my wife and I have worked pretty hard for this land and I don't want to sell it. If we had to sell the land, uh, we would look for developers because that would be a lot, much better price than farmland price. It's kind of ironic that uh, the, the farmers are really what create the, the surroundings that draws people here. Absolutely. And if you lose the farmers, it just turns into another sprawl. Right. And as I said, you know, if we get to the point where we have to sell some land, we'll look at developing it. Right, you have to. You have to. I mean, the taxes keep going up. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a conundrum when you're trying to maintain that much property and pay the taxes on it. I've heard these words, she just wants to get rich. But you know what? If I just wanted to get rich, I would have sold this land to developers and had subdivisions on our farm today. And I could have done it. A long time ago, I could have done it. I've been approached many times wanting that to go through. You know, we could sell out right now. I could make a few phone calls and I could be sitting on a pile of money and probably on a beach somewhere. But that's not the, what we're trying to do. We're trying to let our next generations keep this legacy alive of the hard work our parents put in to get this land and to not and to share the love for it and hopefully maybe someday it'll go back to that farmland and and that legacy will still be alive